There is no such thing as a social contract. A, a contract is only legitimate when it has two parties who sign, who voluntarily accept the contract. A social contract is somehow kind of collectivistic idea that you, uh, that you accept as soon as you're born into the world. And that's just illegitimate and wrong. There's no such thing. And to assume that entitlements are part of this is, again, the contract doesn't exist. And entitlements are clearly claims on other people's stuff. They're claims on other people's wealth, other people's work, other people's time. And therefore, they're a form of slavery. It is a form of enslaving some people to other people. And slavery can never be right. Uh, entitlements require coercion. They require some people to coerce other people to, to, to provide them Social Security, to provide them Medicare, to provide them with welfare, to provide them with food stamps. And that just plain is immoral and wrong. Coercion is wrong. So, no, it's not part of the social contract because there is no social contract to the extent that as a society we choose to live together the only meaningful sense in which the only requirement of social living is the extraction of coercion from society and entitlements do exactly the opposite. So the reason for the establishment of a government, the reason for establishing a state is to create a government that eliminates coercion from human life, allows people to use their reason to pursue their rational values. That's the purpose of creating government. To now embed the government with a social contract that has that requires it to coerce some people to support others is to negate the purpose of government it's to negate the reason for us to create society so uh, entitlements are wrong they're morally wrong uh, they're financially wrong they're economically destructive but again the, the, the fundamental is they require coercion and that is morally wrong